looking at the Eagle Deluxe Shooters bag today. This uh, this course is in multicam. Got a nice metal D rings here for uh, shoulder strap with a nice padded shoulder strap on there. Outside pocket here, just a little uh, slip pocket or whatever you want to call that, where I keep a couple of uh, chamber flags for being at the range. Four inch Israeli bandage. I just put in an extra couple of Ziploc bags because it's always out here and gets you know a lot of dirt and everything right in the back of trucks. Keep a couple of red markers for marking targets. What else do I have in here? Another chamber flag, a Blade Tech training barrel for my Glock 23. In case I ever need to demo anything or do force on force, I've always got that right here. And a couple of pens. What else? Might be something else. Yeah, just a couple more of these little chamber flags to give to other people if they don't have one. Just a pocket. They're kind of hard to get to now that I just shoved everything else back in there. But I, for the most part, I keep a couple of spare screws for my holsters. Rebuild kit for my AR bolt, dash range, extractor, extractor. Um, we'll look at the inside in a minute, but right now we'll look at this off pocket here. This red 550 cord designates life saving gear. Right here, I can grab that, and I always keep these timed properly. So it's timed right here, so I know that when I grab that, all I have to do is rip it, and I've got access to my med kit right there. I don't have to worry about pulling them in different directions or anything like that. We've already looked at this in a different video, so into that. That's my life saving gear there. I'll just go ahead and open this up all the way so we can see what else is going to be here. Um, keep this as my just kind of a boo boo kit or whatever, band aids, Advil, uh, stuff like that, set of gloves, different things like that, comfort stuff. A small pair of little cheapy binoculars. As you'll see in here, I've also got my range finder and my spotting scope. So just if I don't feel like breaking out my, my spotting scope, stuff like that. A pair of uh, yellow lens safety glasses for different shooting uh, environments. Just a 550 cord, useful for tons of stuff. Uh, I believe these are a pair of clear shooting glasses for night shoots and stuff like that. And I keep a spare set of uh, Peltor. Ear Pro, powered Ear Pro in here in case my sword ends go down or my wife. Well, I got a couple of uh, tags from different classes I've been to. Nope. Um, these go on the back of your hat or whatever. Some spare Ear Pro, a couple more Ear Pros, some sunscreen. Uh, there's my dummy rounds. I've got a bunch of 40 caliber dummy rounds here for training. And things like that. Uh, some spare batteries. Usually I have some more. I think I've been beaten in. I think I've been getting into the into the stash there, but I've got a couple of AA batteries. Usually keep some AAAs for my sword ends, but I think I've used those up. And then there's some 2032 batteries for my aim points or different optics or my uh, short dot. Another pair of Surefire Air Pro. Another uh, thing from Pat Rogers class. Uh, I've got a uh, Lula loader for an AK. I don't shoot AKs a whole lot, but I do shoot AKs on occasion. I have a Lula loader. I've also got a Lula, uh, a Lula loader for an AR-15 mag. So this collapses. All I do is pull that up. This clicks in, locks in on the mag catch on an AR mag, and then you just flip it, drop the bullets in. Won't go into that too much, but that's what I'm doing. Got a couple more uh, lens cleaners here. Got another little tube with some AA batteries. Um, keep a lighter for uh, you know, burning the ends of 550 cord or whatever. And these are just a couple of tips from one of my rapid rods. I guess this kind of opened up and dropped in there. And I keep a roll of uh, electrical tape for taping slings and different things like that. And I can use it for knuckles or anything I need. It's pretty useful to have in there. Pull this back later. Now to the inside of the pouch, I keep uh, got this big 550 cord. I can just pull like that. And then when I zip it back, it's kind of awkward to pull sometimes, so I put another layer of loop here, so I can just pull and close it up like that. Uh, neat feature of the, the Eagle Deluxe Shooters 
um, bag is when you open this flap, there's a metal D-ring in here that you can actually lock if you need to. Some jurisdictions you have to keep guns locked or whatever. You can actually throw a padlock on here, put these two zippers across this D-ring and throw a padlock on there and keep it locked just so it uh, meets regulations. Or if you have to leave it on the shoot catch, and, you know, somebody can obviously cut into it if they need, but they're not going to walk off with your gear. So anyway, that opens up. Got two really good wrap-around carry handles, as you can see. Like sometimes I tote a lot of weight in this bag. Um, don't want to get too detailed into it, but I keep my Leica rangefinder right on the top. Got my uh, spotting scope. Got my tripod to go with that. Um, then we've got. So a lot of times daily when I'm just going to the range, I usually just keep it set up just like we are now. But when I go to a class or something, I pull out this insert, which is one of those really big features of this bag, is I can pull this insert out, and now I've got just this bag, just this big open area here. And what I do if I'm going to a carbine class is I just load this full of AR mags. I usually bring 50 loaded AR mags in here so I can access all my ammo through there. I've got all my gear in the side pocket and medical and everything and all my AR mags and then I just carry this up to the line with me drop this on the ground next to where I'm shooting and I'm good uh, right now the way I have it set up just for going to the range uh, I just have some drills some different uh, targets shooting seas and stuff like that and there, just jammed in on the side so we'll look at the insert which is the biggest feature uh, in these side zippered pockets they usually have foam inserts um, padded inserts, I guess, for putting pistols in. I don't really run those right now. Sometimes I take them and put them in there. If I in a class, I usually have it on one side. Usually this side I keep with that with a spare Glock 23 right on the line right there. So if I have an issue with my gun, I can walk back, literally stick one gun in, pull the next one out, and put it in. I'm good to go right off the bat, which is, you know, I always carry spares and everything. That looks like I've got a spare Surefire tail cap for an X300 or a 200. A rapid rod, which is a neat little rod to have. Usually at a class two, I keep one of these either on me or right on the right on the line with me, basically, so I can access that. Um, pull it out and show you. I also keep in here a. Uh, broken shell extractor right off the bat so pretty much if I get a stuck case in the chamber or I get a ripped off case head I can walk over here and clear it within a matter of seconds just instantly having this 